Want to learn how to get a flawless base every single time? Baby, I got you. Keep watching. Also, just a quick little PSA. People with large pores, texture, acne, fine lines, all that good stuff. We can have a flawless base too, okay? Don't get it twisted. For me, I like to do all of my like extra steps, my 10 million steps at night. Because I've been noticing if I do a lot of like skin prep before I do my makeup, even if I let it sink in, my makeup will still literally roll and peel off my face. So if you need to and you didn't wash your face the night before, I would recommend washing your face and then just going with toner, moisturizer, serum, and an SPF. That's it. That's all you need. Sometimes I don't even do a serum. Okay, and I will say that SPF can definitely also play a role in the peeling of your makeup. So I'm sorry to tell you, but sometimes makeup is definitely like trial and error. But luckily enough, I got some options for you if you trust my opinion. Here are my three favorite, e.l.f. Woe Glow, Inky List Polyglutamic SPF 30, and then for an SPF of 42, this is the Shiseido, I don't know, it's the oil-free one. So another thing to think about with the peeling issue, so if you are grabbing a primer, make sure it's going to be a water-based with your water-based foundation. The same thing goes with a silicone base because it's gonna like separate on your skin feel me and my SPF of choice today is gonna be the elf Woe glow um, I just love the glow it gives you oh that's a lot also if you're not layering your setting spray what are you doing I'm just giving this a little bit of a trial run but my favorite favorite setting spray is gonna be urban decay it's gonna say cuz it's urban decay yeah like the skin is skinning also don't forget to spray your sponge either now of course for foundation it's definitely like a little bit of preference skin type you know all that good stuff and we all know I'm a creature of habit with like my house labs my L'Oreal tinted serum so today I'm gonna be using the rare beauty I forgot what it's called liquid touch foundation so I know it looks a little bit yellow but baby it's gonna be okay once we blend it out also not only is layering your cream with your powders just gonna help the longevity of your makeup I just feel it's really gonna help give you that like flawless more put together makeup look and don't you dare forget to layer your setting spray. I know, we're almost done, but after you've set everything, your bronzer, your blush, your powder, and once your makeup is all complete, you just do another layer of setting spray. 